Hey y'all, we're gonna have a rant today. Stick by and watch this next episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Before I jump into it, because I'm really angry, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, our friends over at Blackout Coffee, they're celebrating two years in business for the 24-month celebration. Viewers of this channel, Guns and Gadgets, uh, you can save 24% off of everything in the store. Use code two years, no space. Number two, Y-E-A-R-S, save 24% off everything in the store. Don't forget, they make the uh, the blends that help to support the channel here, 2A and 1776, and they have our some of our shirts and stuff too. Check them out. Let's get into this little rant. First off, if you're new to the channel, I apologize. Every now and then I go on rants on things that a lot of people are thinking but don't say. And I'll say it because I just believe that uh, some things should be called out, right? Uh, so there's a couple things. I have a list because that's how the last 12 hours has been. Let's start out in San Francisco. San Francisco is going to be voting on a bill this year, a referendum, to allow 16-year-olds to vote. That's right, 16-year-olds. They want to let them vote. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. <laughs> that is why we put them in dormitories. And they have a resident assistant. They make really bad decisions. They're telling people that you can't do this or that or anything else until you're 21. And many states have started the movement to make any person who's under 21 a juvenile. That San Francisco wants to tap into that voters base because they're very, very easily persuade. Uh, so keep that in mind. San Francisco wants to let 16 year olds determine the, uh, the way the, the country runs. Number two is Michael Bloomberg. Michael Bloomberg yesterday pledged $100 million to get Joe Biden elected. $100 million. That's on top of all of the money he's pledged to turn pro-gun states anti-gun to include Texas, Arizona, and some others. A hundred million dollars is a lot of money guys and gals and he has the money and he's very effective at how he does things He uses mom's demand action and every time for gun safety and all the other groups that are under his name uh, So that's a big big push for Uncle Joe Which explains his actions yesterday uh, yesterday on Twitter Joe Biden was going goofy, uh, calling for uh, another assault weapon ban, saying how the 10-year ban, because yesterday was the anniversary of it, actually, uh, he was saying how great it was and it saved lives, even though there are many actual studies by the federal government where it, it didn't save any lives. It was just a pain in the butt. He also said that he'll ban high-capacity magazines. We all know the truth behind this stuff, but the sheeple don't. And he's going to use that $100 million from Bloomberg to get it done. So start spreading the word, guys and gals. We have 50 days from the time of this recording, 50 days until Election Day. If you haven't started educating your friends and family, you need to start doing it. Because if you can't get the truth through to the people who can't see the light, it's your responsibility to at least try to expose them to it. Puppet Biden also went off talking about the Violence Against Women Act and how it's been uh, great. And every time they re uh, you know, reauthorize it, it gets stronger and stronger. And he wants to push it again. And if he's president, he'll pass it again. Except, why do they really want it to be pushed so bad this time? Because Nancy Pelosi has put in red flag legislation in the Violence Against Women Act. That's right, a national red flag law, which is why Joe Biden really wants it. I also want to make a couple states aware of anti-gun candidates who are trying to run from your state. Um, now, I am often, I'll always say, I will never tell anyone how to vote. I'll get you information about things happening in your state, and if I know stuff about candidates, I'll de gladly bring that out, which is what I'm going to do here. But I'll never tell you how to vote. I will tell you, however, that if you live in Florida, you need to be aware of this cat. Um, this guy's name is Christopher Eagle, and Christopher Eagle is running for Congress in Florida. And I'm going to put this post up here. Uh, Christopher Eagle had originally posted this. It's now deleted because he's a coward and, you know, doesn't stand or doesn't want people to really know what he stands for. He posted this glorifying the attempted assassination of two Los Angeles County Sheriff's de deputies. Um, and if you can see the last thing in his last line is there, how do we know it wasn't justified? I don't know when any assassination attempt would be justified ever. Uh, so this is your candidate, Florida. Uh, do with this information as you wish. I uh, would 
gladly hope that you will educate people and, and share this information. He's deleted this, so feel free to grab a screen grab or whatever. But he said it. So start telling folks the truth in Florida. People need to know what's going on. Another incident that people need to be aware of is up in Maine. Maine, you have a, a cat who is a former Marine. He's running for the State House of Maine. His name is Joshua Woodburn. And while he initially is trying to tell people that he's pro-Second Amendment and will, is not going to come after your guns, he forgot about this post that's on his page where he tells people that, you know, I'm not going to go after the assault weapons because that's a federal thing. Uh, however, I believe that high-capacity magazines are bad and bump stocks and uh, trigger alterations and hammer alterations and how much, uh, how many grains of powder are in your, your cartridges, your bullets. Because if you have too much gunpowder, they become dangerous and people can't control high-powered rounds at the range. And this cat is coming to try to run your state. You know, guys and gals, one thing that we don't need in this country any more of, in addition to the the uh, the hatred, the, the divide that is going on in this country is we need less anti-constitutional people. Uh, we can agree to disagree on all kinds of issues, but if you are an, against the founding document, you have no place in Congress where your job is to defend and protect that document and to make sure the country is run off of those rules and regulations. We don't need any more ivory tower attitude people who think that they know better than us and they're gonna tell us how or what rights we get to have. We're done with that stuff. Another thing is, is we need to stop glorifying the BS. What I wanna know is while we have candidates running for office and we actually have people in office who glorify all kinds of negative things, you know, that saying from Eric Holder, you know, never let a good tragedy go to waste. Uh, we see it on both sides. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There's all kinds of items that we could talk about, but that's not this type of sh uh, show. Uh, but I just want to let people know that there are anti-gun candidates running. Um, now you know their names. There are more, I'm sure. And while I'll never tell you who to vote for, I will tell you that if you're looking for information on candidates, I'll have links down below. Gun Owners of America have a, a great uh, metric where they have graded uh, people running for office. Uh, at the, state, the federal level, I know uh, I know just because they were on my show recently, I know gun owners of California and Sam, they have a great one for California. Um, if you live in a state and you aren't sure of how your candidate's views are, especially for something that's near and dear to your heart, like the Second Amendment or anything else, call your state level groups. Whatever the, the, the pro 2A group is in your state that's doing the work and fighting the fight, call them. Even if they don't have something on their website, they will tell you who to vote for and who not to vote for. I know uh, my buddy Don Spencer over at the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association does that too. They do great work. VCDL does it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that most of them do it, but I don't know them all off the top of my head. This is the rant, so I don't have anything written down other than the five or six things I wanted to talk about. We have 50 days to educate our friends and family and tell them to get past their feelings, get beyond their hatred for whatever the individual face is running for the position. It's time to vote for freedom or for communism. This is a big one, folks. Spread the word. Sorry it's a rant today. I apologize. Um, every now and then, guys and gals, you know, please don't hold it against me, but every now and then this stuff has to happen. I hope you all are going to have a fantastic Monday. Don't forget 24% off from my buddies uh, over at Blackout Coffee. Use code 2 years. I'm going to have another cup of coffee because... Apparently, I need to get more ramped up. If you are looking for Second Amendment news, this is where you will find it. Please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets. Please thumbs up the video, share it with some friends, and hit that bell icon as well. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. 50 days left to decide the future of freedom in America. Take care, everybody.